Well, the victim of a fiery religious dispute in New Square is speaking out for the first time tonight. Aaron Rottenberg recalls the arson attack from his hospital bed as he recovers from burns over half of his body. And as News 12's Robert Wolf reports, he has more on what some are calling a Hasidic hate crime. <laughs> Aaron Rottenberg, covered in burns and bandages, speaking from his bed at the Westchester Medical Center. In the eight-minute video posted on YouTube, Rottenberg, who is speaking Yiddish, laments the actions of some people in the New Square community involved in this fiery religious dispute. He doesn't speak about anyone specific, but he says that obviously some individuals uh, took uh, the issue with them to a personal level, and therefore it got to such an act. Yossi Kostetner, a local journalist and public relations specialist, watched the video and translated it for News 12. He says Rottenberg doesn't mention his attacker specifically. Police arrested 18-year-old Shaul Spitzer seen here in his just-released mugshot. The young man who works for the Grand Rabbi David Twersky as his butler was also burned in the attack. He is charged with attempted murder, arson, and assault. And Rottenberg's family says the attack stems from the fact that he doesn't worship at the Hasidic community's main synagogue led by the Grand Rabbi. Instead, in this video, you can see he prays here at the Friedwald Center for Nursing and Rehabilitation nearby. Excuse me, we're trying to locate the Grand Rabbi. Is he available? Once again, here at the main synagogue in New Square, where many in this community come to pray, no answer to the question as to where the Grand Rabbi is. No one answered the door at the rabbi's home in Upper Nyack either. He did break his silence last week, though. In an audio recording posted on failedmessiah.com and roughly translated on their website, the grand rabbi said that he had spoken in the past and that hurting fellow Jews is against their ways. As for Rottenberg, Yossi Kostetner says he's grateful for people's prayers, but they should pray for others as well. People should pray also for these few individuals that they, their eyes should open and they should do the right thing. Robert Wolf, News 12. Well, now the suspect in this case, 18-year-old Shaul Spitzer, was released on $300,000 bail last week. His lawyers tell News 12 that he currently does not know where his client, the rabbi, is.